Hello and welcome to another Magnus and Scout video. In this video, I thought I'd talk about dental care for greyhounds. Good dental hygiene is important to the health and well-being of your dog. It does not just affect the mouth locally, but has an important impact on other parts of the body as well. So good dental hygiene is one of the areas to focus on to make sure your greyhound is happy and healthy. Dogs have a natural antibacterial agent in their saliva, but some dogs produce more than others. So to help protect their teeth from plaque buildup and tartar, it's best to brush their teeth. The first step is to get some proper dog toothpaste. These are available at pet stores and online. You can also get yourself a dog toothbrush or a finger brush. In order to first introduce toothpaste to your dog, you can put some on your finger and have them lick it off. Once they're comfortable licking the toothpaste off your fingertips, you can then progress to putting it on your fingertip and then applying it directly to their teeth. Just lift up their lips and then just rub in a circular motion on their teeth. You can start with the canines and just give them lots of encouragement when doing this and get comfortable with the toothpaste on their teeth. And once you're comfortable with this, you can then progress on to the toothbrush. Well, to brush their teeth, just lift up their lips again and brush in a gentle circular motion. You want to start with the canines. Due to the enzymes in the toothpaste, you don't have to get every nook and cranny when you first start. So as you get more and more comfortable with the toothbrushing, you can get more and more of the teeth brushed. Just take it nice and slow, nice circular motion. Again, always make sure you use dog toothpaste. It has to be dog toothpaste. That's the only one that's safe for them. And again, just a nice circular motion. If you do notice anything wrong with your dog's teeth, it's best to go to the vet and get them to get them checked out and professionally looked at. But try and do it as often as you can and try at least once a week. In addition to the brushing, there's other things you can do to help the dental care of your greyhound such as adding additives to your dog's food. We use a stuff called Plaque X, which you can get in pets at home and online. It's basically just a little kelp powder. It's got seaweed, some turmeric, and a bit of charcoal in there. And you just add a couple little scoops of this to their food, stir it in, and this will help with breaking down the tartar and plaque in their mouths. So depends on their weight as to how much you add for magnets three scoops and for Scout it's two scoops so just add these to their meal at lunch times stir it in and this will aid and help reduce the plaque and bacteria in their mouth from building up you can also add additives to the water as well which can help eliminate bad breath and help prevent plaque buildup. We use the stuff called liquid oral care. Again, available from pets at home and online. Just put a little capsule into their water bowl, add some fresh water, and that'll just basically be there for them to drink throughout the day. There are several other ways in which you can help reduce dental disease in your dog. Dogs love to chew, so you can give them a dental chew. There are a variety of these available at your local grocery store in the dog food aisle. These work by stimulating the saliva production, which helps to keep the teeth clean by reducing the bacteria in their mouth. Magnus and Scout absolutely love these. Scout fed. Scout fed. Magnus fed. Good girl. Good boy, Magnus. Take it. Scout. Scout fed. Bed. 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 Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. In addition to the dental chews, you can also give your dogs bones for the same effect. Ostrich bones are particularly good for this, and these are available at pet stores and online. These last longer than dental chews, 
And these also work by producing saliva, but also by scraping at the teeth and wearing away the plaque and tartar on their teeth. Mags and Skit will happily chew on these for a couple of hours, so they're really good value. And they are very good at getting the plaque off their teeth. Just remember when you're getting bones, they have to be raw bones and not cooked bones. Cooked bones are bad for your dog. Another thing you can buy from your pet store as well is pizzle sticks. These also work by again producing saliva in the mouth and the chewing action and scraping against the teeth. And these are also good at helping with the dental care for your pup as well. In addition to the toothbrushing, the additives and the bones, you can also get toys to help with the dental care. This toy from Pets at Home was about six pounds. It's a chew toy that's got basically sort of, you can see little dimples on the end, which help stimulate the plaque removal on the mouths of the pups. Magnus really likes his toy, so it's great value. Doesn't need replaced, it can last for a long time. A lot of chewing, a lot of chomping. And it does seem to be making a difference to his teeth. So we hope you enjoyed this video about the doggy dental care. If you've got any questions, I'll try and answer them down below. But we'll see you again soon for some more Magnus and Scout videos.